Hello and welcome to Filling the Sink, a podcast from Catalan News. I'm Lorcan Doherty and today we're talking about Wikipedia. That's Catalan for Wikipedia, and very satisfying to say, I might add. On today's podcast, we're looking at the success story that is the Catalan version of this free collaborative online encyclopedia. We'll hear from two Wikipedians, a new word for me, Xavier and Alex, on what drives them to volunteer their time and knowledge for the project. And two more, Nuria and Karma, who are that rare thing in the world of Wikipedia, women. They'll be sharing their experiences and efforts to address the website's issue with gender bias. Joining me today is Lea Belyaiva. We swapped seats again since last week. Hi, Lorcan. Yes, we did. It's like musical chairs. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, this week we're talking about Wikipedia, which I just have to say I think is great. It's a great resource. Isn't it? Um, like I can remember actually the first time discovering it Like for me personally. I was at university. It was, it was late in the evening in the halls of residence and like last minute essay writing or something. And I was like... What is this amazing website? And uh, yeah, even in, in the day-to-day -day job, it's still very useful. Yeah, and I think now it has gained a lot of respectability just compared to how it was before. I think now you can use it because I remember that when I went to university, our teachers specifically told us not to use Wikipedia. Yeah, well, as we'll find out, the great thing about it is everything is quotes the sources and things like that, the references, in theory at least. Uh, do you want to give us a little bit of background about Wikipedia then, in general? Yeah, so Wikipedia was created in January of 2001 by two guys called Jimmy Wills and Larry Sanger. And it was, as you said before, a free online encyclopedia. And the Catalan version, which we're talking about today, it quickly followed. It was the third one to be created in March of the same year, the German being the second one. That's pretty amazing. So of all the languages in the world, you had the English one first, then German, and then Catalan. And then Catalan is the third one. And now it's the 20th largest Wikipedia site. And it has over 1,200 active editors. So out of all the different languages, again, it is the 20th site with the most articles. And in fact, the 11th Wikipedia uh, with the most featured articles. Exactly. So it's not only a large site in terms of quantity, but also in terms of quality. So Wikipedia, you know, the version in English, is one of the top 10 sites on the web. And interestingly... The Catalan Wikipedia is the fifth most visited website in Spain, which it's the only one in Catalan or any other language that isn't Spanish in the top 10. I should say as well, it's by far and away the most visited website in Catalan as well. Yeah, for sure. And also just one thing that I think is worth mentioning is the name. Yeah. Because in Catalan, it's not called Wikipedia as it is in many other languages. It has its own spelling and its own way of pronunciation. Yeah, Wikipedia. I Wikipedia. Think. It's great. It's really great. And also the, the thing that's really special about it is uh, that the spelling, it follows the Catalan spelling rules. So it has an accent, it's spelled with a V instead of a W. Yeah, the, the Spanish one, for example, is, is spelt Wikipedia, it's spelt the same as in English, and, and the German one too. So Catalan was the first one that was set up, then they decided, no, we're going we're gonna to spell it this way. We're going to do it our own way. <laughs> so how does it work? Because who writes this that we all read? Yeah, so everything is based on volunteers. So it's a, basically a collaborative work where volunteers, they can start their own page and then just start writing about whatever topic they want to, or they can edit a page. And that can be, well, they can add sources, they can change if something, if there's a spelling error or whatever they want. So it is really a collaborative thing where people, they work together on creating this free knowledge for everyone. But there are a few basic rules. There are a few basic rules. So first of all, it's based on a good faith principle. And then in addition to that, it's don't write about yourself, your job, your family, anything that's specifically related to your life. Always have sources. And then there is neutrality. So always try to write in, a, in the most neutral way possible. But we'll get into that a little <laughs> bit later, that, that it's not really that simple. You mentioned earlier that there 
was it 1,200 editors or 1200, approximately yeah. for so, the Catalan edition? Exactly. So it fluctuates uh, from the year. So during the summer break or the winter break, they're a little less because people, they go on holidays and stuff. Uh -huh. But more or less, they're in between 1,000 and 1,500. And I wonder, do, you know, do, do they know each other? Is it, do, you know, do they ever meet up? Yeah, they, they can. They can. So there's no physical place, there's no physical Wikipedia office that everyone goes to. Um, but there are some online meetups where people can meet and get together and write about a specific topic, or also in-person meetups. And in fact, in Catalonia, there's an association called Amical Wikimedia, and their goal is to promote editing in Catalan. And they also organize editathons. So those are events that can either be in person or online where people meet and they write and edit articles on specific topics. And the association also promotes collaborations with different organizations or entities. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on as well. Okay, well, let's hear now from two Wikipedians. Le, you spoke to Alex Inojo and Xavier Dengra and started by asking just how many articles Wikipedia has. We are almost reaching the 745,000. Um, so we are really close to the three quarters of a million, which will be a huge milestone. I'm sure we will get to there before summer, probably. And uh, yeah, we will probably throw a nice party because we have been looking for this over the time. Javier Dengra has been a Catalan Wikipedian for 15 years, which means that he has seen the Catalan edition grow from just over 100,000 articles to the current 743,000. Yeah, now I'm 29. I started when I was 14 years old. I was at high school and there was one time that I was looking for an article and it was about the mashed potatoes. Probably I was at home and I wanted to, uh, edit, uh, to prepare it with my, with my mom and I did not find the article. And there was a sentence that said, this article doesn't exist yet, but you can help editing it. And I said, okay, let's go. And then since that moment, yeah, I felt attracted to the project, to the idea to share the knowledge that I had. And yeah, it's been all this time until now, yeah. Xavier's story is not unique. And in fact, many Wikipedians began contributing when they realized that the information that they were looking for was not available in their language. Alex Hinojo joined in 2007 when he realized that basic information about Catalan history and culture was missing. Since then, he has contributed to more than 80,000 articles on a variety of topics. I caught up with him on the street during his lunch break. And it's a way like for contributing to your own culture, to your own way, language, and making your language and your reality alive for more people. According to Alex, the best way to get an accurate picture of your own history and culture is to learn about it in your own language. A Catalan Wikipedia is the best one for Catalan culture, obviously. But how is Catalan culture uh, explain in Spanish Wikipedia. That's not the same. And if you check, for example, uh, the Reaper's War, which is, was a classical war in, in Catalonia, in, in, in Catalan it's uh, Guerra del Segador, which is actually uh, Reaper's War. In Spanish it's uh, the rebellion of the Catalan bad people, the, just the name, I don't know the, the exact title, but it shows you what, it's a different point of view. For the record, in Spanish, the Reaper's War is called La Sublevación de Catalunya, which literally translates to the mutiny of Catalonia. According to both Xavier and Alex, cultural differences will always be reflected in how we explain facts and history, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But at the same time, bias is a major problem, and one that Wikipedia everywhere, not only in Catalonia, is still trying to solve, as the majority of the editors are very homogenous. Sadly, I'm the typical profile. It's white male with high, uh, with high studies, with some free time and looking for uh, help with their language or to contribute to free knowledge. Almost 85% of contributors are male. There's a thing we need. We need more women on board. It's a free place. Everyone can contribute. And we need women to obviously not only to participate, but also to reduce some uh, lots of bias that the project has. We need more diversity in our community members, so please, women and all kind of people who doesn't feel represented on the project, please join us and we will, we will really, really thank you. Our thanks to Xavier and Alex. 
And yeah, if you're listening, a call out there to join the community, especially uh, Alex was saying there that they need more diversity. And if you're listening and you're thinking, well, I can't edit in Catalan, this applies to all Wikipedia, doesn't it? In English too. And it, well, pretty much in every language. Pretty much in every language, they can always use extra hands because it's totally voluntary. So they always need more people. So this bias problem that Wikipedia, whatever the language is in, uh, has. Tell us a bit about that, Leah. Well, overall, Wikipedia is dominated by cisgendered, white, heterosexual men. And the difference is really, really overwhelming. So as Alex said, 85% of all contributors are male. In Catalonia, it's a tiny bit better. It's only 80% male. (laughs) Just just four out of five. (laughs) Exactly. And uh, why so few women then? Why do so few women decide that this is something to do? So according to the the former Wikimedia Foundation executive director, Sue Gardner, there are different reasons why women don't edit Wikipedia as much as men do. And basically everything is related to sexism. So the, the main factor is that the women that join the Wikipedia group, they meet sexism on the job. So they can be either with edit wars. So that means that when you post an article, another editor will will go through it and see if it fits the criteria, if everything is right. And more times than not, women are being edited more or being questioned more. And especially if they are written by women and about women. So two issues there. One, the person who's actually doing the the writing and then also the content as well. Like if the subject matter is also about women, then you're more likely to face uh, yeah, scrutiny. questions, scrutiny and, and end up in an edit war, as they're called. Exactly, exactly. And then in addition to that, there was a lack of user friendliness. So there was also a tech problem before. Now, uh, some activists say that the interface has changed. It has gotten much better. It's much easier to use. But before it was a little bit more complicated to well, go into Wikipedia and edit texts. So it kind of attracted people from a tech background. Exactly. And as we all know, women are less in tech than men are still. And another factor is the lack of free time, because many times women, well, they take care of the family more so than the, the man. And that gives you less time to do, well, other things that you don't strictly have to do. So basically, it's too much work. Women are also expected to write about women's issues on Wikipedia and (laughs) just eradicate sexism. Okay, so quite a few barriers there. A little bit, yeah. And so this under-representation of women editors means then that certain subjects are also underrepresented. For sure. So... Uh, First, we have to say that there's the the general Wikipedia tendency, the worldwide tendency, which many of the same tendencies are the same in Catalan, but they're slightly, slightly better in many aspects. One of the big consequences of the lack of female editors is, well, the lack also of female biographies. Um, In Catalan, for example, 20% of all biographies are written about women. So this, okay, so massive underrepresentation, still better than the, than the Wikipedia average? Still a little bit better than the Wikipedia average. And then in addition to that, if we don't only talk about women, but also, for example, non-binary people, well, it's even worse. It's 0.2% of all biographies that are on non-binary people. And another thing we've seen is not only are there less biographies about women, but the ones that exist tend to focus more on more domestic issues, family issues or gender or relationship related topics. Yeah. Which isn't the case uh, for biographies about men. Not at all. And in addition to that, in fact, female scientists or biographies on female scientists are more often than not defined in terms of their relationships. So, for example, the wife of, the daughter of, (laughs) rather than the accomplishments, their scientific accomplishments. Maybe we're painting a bit of a bleak picture here, but there are, I mean, everyone that we spoke to this week is very much aware of this issue and there are initiatives to try and address it. 
yeah, in Catalonia, there are different types of collaborations. And also internationally, there is the wiki project that's called Women in Red. The color red refers to the the color of a wiki stub, an article that's not yet written. Right, okay, so the links when you're on Wikipedia are blue and you often see them red. If you click on it, said this article doesn't exist. Exactly. Or uh, that, well, okay, clever, woman in red. Okay, so the idea is... Uh, they get they... together to write content about women. A former colleague of ours here at the Catalan News Agency, uh, Miguel, he volunteers with the group that we mentioned earlier, Amical Wikimedia. He sent us information about a very interesting project that they were doing on the Catalan Wikipedia uh, this year. And uh, basically the BBC published uh, the 100 Most Influential Women uh, for 2023. And the idea was then for Catalan Wikipedia to feature articles on each of those 100 women. And they wanted to get the biographies up in January, in the first month of the year. And they were successful. At the start of the month, they only had 17 articles already existing out of these 100 women. Um, So they had to add 83 new biographies. So they've added articles, for example, about a Swedish engineer, Astrid Linder, a Russian feminist activist, Daria Serenko, and Venezuelan physicist, Ana Maria Font. Yeah, and if I can just add, they plan on doing another project with Catalan women in the next coming months. Well, Leah, after you spoke to Xavier and Alex, uh, they both kind of mentioned this issue of gender bias. Uh, So you decided, well, better find out more about it. And better speak to some actual woman Wikipedians. Exactly. So I talked to Karma Fenol, who is a librarian, and she started, well, a collaboration with the libraries, the Catalan libraries and the Catalan Wikipedia. And I also talked to Nuria Rivas, who is the president of Amical Wikimedia. Let's take a listen. When it comes to women and non-binary biographies, you need to um, to show like uh, twice or three times their accomplishments in order to let them uh, remain as, as an open uh, Wikipedia page. This is Nuria Rivas, the president of Amical Wikimedia, an association that promotes editing and expanding the Catalan Wikipedia. Since becoming an editor some 10 years ago, she has seen improvements in the content on Wikipedia and she underscores that the Catalan Wikipedia is an example of positive change. At the same time, she laments the harsh scrutiny that articles on women or non-binary people typically undergo compared to those about men. For example, Pamela Jones, she's not on Wikipedia, she's an astrophysic, and one of the arguments was she just has uh, one asteroid with his name, with her name. Like, just one, I don't know, she's working in NASA, she's, you know, quite an accomplished woman, but, you know, it's just a woman with an asteroid. A lot of pedagogical work has gone into raising awareness of the biases of the male majority of editors, she says. And another way of creating more balanced content is through editathons, which not only have improved the content of the Catalan Wikipedia, but are also about creating community and confidence. The thing that kept me editing is community. You have a, a super group where uh, you can ask for stuff. We sometimes come together uh, physically. You can ask for help and there's always somebody willing to help you. And that's also really cool from, um, I don't know, that's something that uh, I really cherished when I was a beginner because uh, you are editing and you are super afraid of, you know, uh, deleting the whole Wikipedia. And that's something that you cannot do for one and then there's always people willing to help you. Another wiki project that has sought to improve the quality of the Catalan Wikipedia is the collaboration between Amical Wikimedia and public libraries in Catalonia. It all started 12 years ago and now includes 200 libraries and librarians all over Catalonia. Karma Fenol, a librarian and a fellow Wikipedian, explains that the collaboration works because Wikipedia and the libraries share the same mission, to facilitate access to knowledge. And at the same time, this is a way of confronting the gender problem. 
that's another reason of the BiblioWiki project has a strong interest in, in the Wikipedia community and in the internet community because librarians are more women than the men. So uh, if librarians contribute to um, fight uh, the, the, the gap, the gender gap, it's interesting for everybody. In 2016, Amical Wikimedia and the Catalan Library started the campaign One Librarian, One Reference with the hashtag One Lip, One Ref to encourage librarians to add references and sources to Wikipedia articles. Since starting, it has become an international campaign that has added more than 4,500 references. Thanks very much to Nuria and to Karma. Leah, uh, gender bias, huge issue, but it's not the only bias that Wikipedia has, either in Catalan or in any other language. Unfortunately not. So there's also another huge issue, which is racial bias and Eurocentrism. And Eurocentrism, well, for those who don't know, it's a worldview or a mindset that censors European or wide ways of knowing as sole, central or superior to all others. And an example of that is a staggering piece of information. And that is, as of 2021, there were more articles on the English Wikipedia about Paris than the whole continent of Africa. That's incredible, actually, isn't it? So more articles on Wikipedia about Paris than Africa. Than Africa. Le- all countries, all <laughs> whatever information, history, history culture. culture, people... And uh, compared to one, one city in Europe, Paris? One city in Europe. Uh, okay, so a bit of work to do. Why is this? Well, uh, because we said earlier that four out of five Catalan Wikipediaers are men. Four out of five Wikipedias in general are from the global north. Uh, people write about what they know about, which is un- which is understandable, maybe even to be encouraged. You know, you, you know, if you're writing an ex- encyclopedia, it's it's better to write about your own culture. For you sure. Know. The problem is trying to attract people from other cultures then to write as well. Yeah, and until you have attracted more people to write about the global south, well, then you have an imbalance or even a lack in coverage of the global south as a whole, and that's a huge problem. So that's the problem. Tell me we've got some solutions. We do. So the Afro-Cuban lawyer and wiki activist Yvonne González, she has created an ongoing project that's called Blackening Wikipedia. And this project aims at creating more pages on Wikipedia on Global South content and also revising and drafting pages with a decolonized and racially aware anti-patriarchal approach, which means, well, making, for example, pre-colonial history visible which is not always the case. Okay, and this is on the English Wikipedia? No, actually, it's in the French, the Spanish, and the Catalan Wikipedia. Okay, so that's on the Catalan Wikipedia. I said at the start, this is, uh, you know, a real success story. Uh, the Catalan Wikipedia, a really successful site. I mean, I have to say, I use it, you know, we, I use it all the time to check stuff about Catalan culture that maybe I come across for the first time, or, or wherever, or where places are, a little bit about town, lots of geographical stuff as well. And it all only exists thanks to the efforts of the people like people that you talked to today. Yeah, and three of the four people I talked to, they define themselves as digital activists. And Alex actually said that a great way of doing activism was, well, being an editor of Wikipedia because it's one of the most visited pages ever on the internet. And it's a great way of spreading awareness and educating. Time now for our Catalan phrase. What's it this week, Lea? This week is ser un set ciencias. Ser un set ciencias, to be a seven sciences? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that would be the literal translation. <laughs> and what does it mean? It means to be a know-it-all. Ah, okay, to be a know-it-all, I like it. Ser un set ciencias. Well, that's us for today. Thanks very much for listening. Thanks again to Nuria, Alex, Karma and Xavier. Thanks to you, Leah. And thanks to you, Lorcan. We're back again next weekend with another episode of Filling the Sink. Until then, from me, Lorcan Doherty, and all of us here at Catalan News, bye for now. Adeu.